Hi, this is a really brief video today. I just thought I'd post it. It's a question that came from one of my tutoring students. It's fairly tough, quite challenging. Please do stop the video, have a go at the question, compare your solution. I look forward to your comments. Hi, in this particular video, we're being asked to find the value of X and we're dealing with quite a few of these indices. So I'm just going to um, work through this, but please do stop the video, have a go at the question and then compare your solution. So the first thing is, is if we look at the left hand side, we've got nine to the power of negative a half. Well, basically, that's exactly the same as saying one over the square root of nine, which is actually one over three. Okay, so every time you see something to the power of a half, basically means the square root. And with it being a negative, it means the reciprocal. So actually, this side of the equation, I can write as one third. The right hand side of the equation, I'm going to change slightly because it's a division, I'm going to write it as a fraction. And also, it makes sense for me to write everything in base three. So 27 is three cubed. It's exactly the same as saying three times three times three. So I can write 27 as three cubed. I'll put that in brackets and then it's the power of a quarter, okay, which um, is actually the fourth root, okay. So the bottom, uh, the denominator here is going to be 3x plus 1 and I'll leave that as 3x plus 1. Okay, so where do we go from here? Well, really, it would be quite useful, I think, to actually cross multiply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply across because then that means I've got 1 times 3x plus 1, which is 3x to the power of x plus 1. And on the right hand side, I'm going to get 3 times 3 to the power of 3 to the power of a quarter. OK, well, what we need to do now is work that out. So if I um, have a look at this, I've got 3x plus 1 on the left, and this is going to be 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 1 quarter. So actually what I can do is I can write this as 3 to the power of 3 quarters. So, because I'm multiplying these two together, so I've got 3x plus 1 equals 3 to the 1 times 3 to the power of 3 quarters. Okay, so I've multiplied these two indices together. Okay, so when we are multiplying base numbers together, we add the indices. So by inspection, I can basically see this is 3x to the 1 equals 3 times, and then it's 1 plus 3 quarters. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just write that slightly differently, which is 3 to the power of 3 quarters plus 1. And hopefully you'll see that this matches exactly the 3x plus 1. So with this particular question, the value of x must equal 3 quarters. And that would be the answer to this particular question. OK, so bit of a tricky one. Going to take a little bit of while to work through, but hopefully you found some value from that. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Um, there are links uh, on the um, channel to other playlists that have very similar questions. And I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.